Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to talk about 5 annoying things about Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now before I go any further, I want to clear a few things up. I really like this smartwatch and I really like the software it's running on and I have praised this watch several times in my previous videos and in my opinion it is one of the best smartwatches out there for Android phones. So at this point I may be nitpicking but it does have its shortcomings and so I want to talk about them. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the touch bezel on this watch. Now it's definitely better than not having a touch bezel but it's nowhere as good or as satisfying as a rotating bezel on Galaxy Watch or Gear S3 Frontier. So uh, sometimes as you've just seen uh, it is late to respond so you would just start swiping but it would not respond immediately it takes a few tries before it uh, to catch up to your speed and then another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of times my thumb actually uh, goes onto the display while swiping on the bezel and then would open up something else when I'm not trying to do that and that's really irritating and annoying and sometimes gets really worse. Next up I want to talk about these bands so uh, Samsung has come up with these 20 millimeter bands for uh, both the 44 millimeter and the 40 millimeter version and so that means that all the bands that I bought uh, for my Gear S3 and Galaxy Watch which both uses 22 millimeter uh, band are now useless because I cannot use them with this watch and so now I have to go ahead and buy these 20 millimeter bands uh, which is again uh, disappointing because for the larger version at least Samsung could have gone for 22 millimeter bands and made it universal so people who have been buying 22 millimeter bands for Galaxy Watch and Gear S3 Frontier could use those with uh, the 44 millimeter version at least. But Next up I want to talk about the app support for this Tizen OS platform that this watch is using and app support is quite limited. Now we do have some popular apps like Uber and Spotify and third party Twitter, YouTube and Google Translate apps but they are not the official apps and does not work as flawlessly as they should. In my opinion the app support for Tizen OS for Galaxy watches is nowhere near what you get with Wear OS because Wear OS has got all the official Google apps and some of them that I use daily and some other apps from popular developers that I use as well are also missing on uh, you know these Galaxy watches. Now they do have some alternatives but they are not as high quality or are not as good as you would find on uh, Wear OS. So if we go in the app drawer on the Wear OS app like this Fossil Gen 5 you can see apps uh, from the Google, official Google apps. Uh, you can see the city mapper that I use daily that's not available and some other apps here as well so Google Keyboard, Google Pay, Notes, uh, Keep Notes, Maps, Messages, Messenger. So there are a ton of apps that are available for Wear OS but uh, the availability is missing for uh, Tizen OS uh, running on Galaxy watches. So I would like to see some more official app support. Maybe Samsung could work with these developers and have official apps made for this platform because the software is great and I love the software on this watch and how smooth it is, how responsive it is and how easy it is to navigate and uh, you know how simple it is to use actually. I would like to see some official Google apps and apps from other popular developers coming to Tizen OS on Galaxy watches. Next up I have said this previously a lot of times and I would say this again that Galaxy watches need Google Assistant. Bixby is great and it works fine when it comes to doing basic things on the watch like sending messages, uh, making calls and uh, setting up your reminders and timers and that's all right. But Google Assistant goes one step beyond that and can answer your questions, your general knowledge questions, can do a lot more than Bixby can. We need that Google Assistant dashboard on here on these watches that you get on Wear OS watches where it lays out everything for you even before you ask for it and that's great and I want to see Google Assistant coming to these Galaxy watches. Samsung can keep their Bixby like they do on their Samsung phones but we need to have Google Assistant on uh, these watches as well. And finally I want to talk about the size of this thing. Now it has a screen size of 1.4 inches which is technically bigger than 
the screen size of Samsung Galaxy Watch which is 1.3 inch but the footprint is actually smaller and it feels really small on the wrist it's a 44 millimeter uh, version here and I would like to see Samsung make a 46 millimeter version of this same watch next year and give us a bigger screen bigger battery so it can compete uh, Galaxy watch in size and battery life and if they can throw in the rotating bezel instead of the touch bezel that would be great too and you know 22 millimeter bands would be great too but you know anyways <clears throat> so that's about it from this video guys those were the five annoying things about Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 I would say this again I still love this watch I use it every day this is my go-to smartwatch and uh, if I have to pick between different smartwatches this is my number one pick at this time but it does have its shortcomings and this video was about them so that's about it from this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye